Next, we're going to go into the project editor where we configure the transactions for your PLC and your SQL Server database. Now we're going to create a project in our project editor. I'm going to click New, type in Automotive as our project, and you can see it popped it up right here. When I click on this, it's going to actually launch another application, and it's the project editor. And once we're in here, if you go up here to adapters and double click on automation, you can see that it already found where our PLCs are because they match our scheme. The team manager is actually, actually residing in a control logic rack and the PLC that I'm gonna pull tags from is within that rack. But if you're using ethernet IP, you come down here, you can see where the ethernet IP section is and I actually have a compact logics that I could connect to also if I wanted to. Right click and open up the tag list and you can see all the different tags that are in the PLC. There's arrays, UDTs, everything that's in your PLC. Next, if I wanna add my SQL database, I'll go New Adapter, right click on Automation and New Adapter, New Microsoft SQL Adapter, and we connect to the SQL database using SQL Server authentication. We don't use the Windows authentication. So The default for the Microsoft SQL port number is 1433, so unless you've changed it, it should work. Enter in the database you're wanting to connect to. Now if I come back up here, you can see that it connected. If I do enumerate, I'm going to select all. And select all again to get everything I have access to. And now I have, you can see all the databases we have access to. So we just connected to our PLC and browsed the tags and made those available. And we also did the same thing where we connected to our SQL server and to find which tags we wanted to pull in and make have access to the team manager. Next, we're going to go into setting up a transaction. If you have a topic you would like covered, please leave it in the comments section below.